Thing. <laughs> because I'm happy, as happy as a kitten in the spring. I see. When I sing a song, it makes me happy. And when I'm happy, I sing. Why are you happy? Well, because I'm singing. And singing makes me happy as can be. Really? A song is like a bonnet full of happiness. Indisputably. Now you try to, you All ready? Right. Yes. Why do you sing? Because I'm happy. <laughs> Lovely, go on. As happy as a kitten in the spring. And when I sing a song, it makes me happy. And when I'm happy, I sing. Great. Why are you happy? Because, because I'm, I'm singing. singing. And singing makes me happy as can be. A song is like a bonnet full of happiness. Indisputably. Now, imagine a world without music. Oh, no. Imagine a world without song. Terrible. A world without music is too sick to struggle along for long. And oh, what a dreary old world it would be. Oh, gee, dearie me. And oh, what a dreary old world it would be. Oh, gee, dearie me. A song is like a sunbeam to a flower. A song is like a blossom to a bee. <laughs> a song is like a cooling summer shower. A song is like a green and shady tree. Lovely. Um, a song is like an autumn colored garden. A song is like a breath of morning air. <sighs> A song is like a candlelight, a lantern in the darkest night. A song is like a blessing and a prayer. Why do we sing? Because we're happy. Happy as a kitten in the spring. When we sing a song, it makes us happy. And when we're happy, we sing. Why are we happy? Because we're singing. And singing makes us happy as can be. A song is like a bonnet full of happiness, indisputably. A song is like a bonnet full of happiness, indisputably. Happy, indisputably. Nobody cares, Gumley. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it hurts, Dot. It hurts. Gumley, come on. Oh. Ah. Ah. I 
I'm sorry, Gumly, but I have to. It's for your own good. Now you must wear these. What is it? What's the noise about? It's that koala sickness. It's terrible. It makes them blind. <laughs> yeah, lots of koalas are dying from the disease. No, no, be good now. Ow, ow. It hurts. I know, but you must be brave. Open your eyes. Oh, good boy. Why don't they do something about it? Well, they've tried, but it's almost impossible to cure. Uh, wh why not just take him to a... to a... what do you humans call them? Um, magicians. Doctors? I can't. He has to go to a hospital. It costs $2,000 to make Gumley better. I've been singing in the street for hours, and this is all I've got. $7.25. Yep, only $1,992.75 to go. Oh, Grumble Bones, don't be so mean. I like being mean. A koala going around with Dark glasses, trying to look like a Hollywood film star or something. A film star? Hey, sweetheart, come up and see me sometime. More like a turtle than a dog. Oh, a Hollywood film star. <laughs> they make lots of money, don't they? Uh, I suppose so. I'll be a film star and make enough for an operation for Gumley, uh, for his eyes. Uh, uh, where's Hollywood? Uh, where's Hollywood? Uh, I know. Want me to take you? Oh, yes. Grumble Bones, I'm going to take Dot and Gumley to America. Why don't you come? Oh, don't be stupid. Oh, we're going to Hollywood. <laughs> yes. uh, Hollywood. Some people ride camels and some prefer mules While others ride turtles and don't they look fools? But I curl up inside just enjoying the view As I ride in the pouch of a red kangaroo As she rides in the pouch of a red kangaroo We fly through the air and bounce over the ground With a hippity hoppity thumpity sound The best fun in the world and I tell you it's true Is to ride in the pouch of a red is to ride in the pouch of a red kangaroo. Oh, Dorothy, this is so exciting! <laughs> We're flying! Yes, the flying kangaroo! And so fast! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Watch out for the clouds! Oh, look at that mountain range! Oh, aren't they beautiful? Where are we? Oh, we've still got a long way to go yet. Just sit tight. Gee, we must be getting close. Yes, steady now. This is where it gets bumpy. I know. I was just joking. <laughs> it's always like that. Oh, thanks, Darcy. It's a pleasure. Good luck. Taxi! Taxi! <sighs> Where to? Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, well, maybe a pet knows. <laughs> Actually, 
I came to collect money for this, um, uh, I want to be a film star. Yeah, honey, everyone wants to be a film star in this town. What do you mean? We're all waiting for a break into the big time. Did you ever see The Curse of the Mummy? No. Well, I played the mummy. Ah, oh, you're an actor too. Yep, just filling in time, driving a cab. Oh, dear. Well, that's a shame. Oh, you shouldn't worry. That's how the business is. Hollywood's the place where all dreams are made. Been like that since the very beginning. <laughs> I love the limelight. I love the limelight. Love it when the curtain rises. I love the big night. I love the big night. Opening night is all surprises. Monday, you're a Highland lassie. Tuesday, you're a clown. Wednesday, you are Cleopatra, queen of Cairo town. Thursday morning, you're a duchess. Later, you're a girl next door. Different costume, different makeup. Oh, darling, what a bore. Friday, there's a new director. Wants to change the set. And suddenly, you're Joan of Arc for Marie Antoinette. Saturday, you could become a harem girl. And then, on Sunday, if you're lucky, you can be yourself again. <laughs> Ridiculous. I love the limelight, love it when the curtain rises. I love the big night, I love the big night. Enough is enough. It doesn't matter who you are, you can be a movie star. Don't be shy, come and try, and if you're any good, oh, mommy, you can get to high. Film stars! Look, Gumley! Faster! Faster! Find your position quickly! Attention! Monsieur? Oh, that's fine. Hello. Um, could I have a glass of milk and two straws, please? Two straws? Yes. Same as those two gentlemen over there. Huh? One straw for me, one for Gumley. I am sorry, miss. That disguise doesn't fool me. We don't sell beavers here. Beaver? Gumley's not a beaver. Well, badger, then. We don't sell badgers, either. I am sorry, miss. Gumley's my friend, and he's a koala. I don't care if he's a West Borneo orangutan. No animals are served. This cafe. Uh, garçon. Oui, monsieur. Another glass of milk and two fresh straws. Ah. Oh. Sacré bleu. Mr. Mr. Stan and I'm Ollie. Mm, yum. And do you often go out to lunch with a koala? No. Well, Los Angeles is a crazy place, but I've never seen a koala in a cafe before. Not even in a Hollywood film. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> my, my. What a coincidence. We are, too. Oh, do you sing too? I can sing. I'm going to be a film star. Well, it's not as easy as that, Miss... Um, Dot. Film stars have to be able to do lots of things. Sing, act, play music, and dance. <laughs> Don't forget, they must know how to dance. Oh, I can dance? Well, then let's dance together. Here in the coffee shop? No. <laughs> Outside. Hey, come and join in with us. Well, what do you think? 
Why not? Why not have a ball? Come on and try. There ain't nothing to it. Just move your little tootsies. It's as easy as pie. It don't make no difference if you're big or small. Every day is a holiday, and you'll have no troubles at all. La 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 la. <laughs> Gee, that was terrific. You know, I think you're about good enough. Good enough for what? The Hollywood contest. You are an excellent dancer. You should enter, my girl. We'll see you at the contest. <laughs> Studio Six. Thank you. Hey, stop! Hey, you can go in, but no animals allowed. Oh, but I must take him. He's sick. Well, especially no sick animals. Hey, what? Oh. Yeah, real dangerous, and we could all get rabies. Those are the rules, Miss. No exceptions. All right, all right. I won't be too long. Now, whatever you do, don't follow me. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. Gumley will wait for me here while I'm dancing in the contest. Would you like to see my dance? Right. Well, it starts like this. Now, now watch carefully. Whee! La 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 la. La 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 la. What do you think you're doing? Get off there! Run away, Gumby! Quick! Oh, there, there! Maybe in here. Nah, not in here. Over there! Dot's a nice little girl, eh? And that koala. Oh! Dum da dum dum bum bum bum. Do 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 do. What are you doing with that cushion? Well, I keep on bumping my head. <coughs> See? Move it in front of the window where you can stand up. Oh. 
I don't know how anyone could be so stupid as to stand there and continually bump their head is beyond me. You idiot. Why don't you stand in the window? Why don't you mind your own business? Places, everybody. We're going for a take. Oh. Let's take the crane up to its first position. I want to see the whole set, then move in. Feature the girl. What? Okay, are we ready on lights, Harry? All set, Mr. Blaine. Meet it ready? All right, ready on camera? Is this the contest? Speed? No, I, I don't think so. Playback. Clapper. Action. Are oh, they dancing? Here we go. Why don't you dance with them? Show them what you know. Oh, I'm too scared. I'd love to dance with her. Perhaps one day I will. That's it. That's the contest. Yes. I would like to enter the Hollywood contest. You. <laughs> now I've seen everything. Name. Dot. From Australia. Dot. From Austria. Australia. Australia. Never heard of it. Dot. From Australia. An animal act, is it? Animal act? I'm not an animal. Nah, but that gopher is. Gumley is not a gopher. Well, ferret then. Oh, brother. Wait in there. <laughs> Dear ladies and gentlemen, this is a special occasion. These dainty and demure young ladies are the final contestants in the On to Hollywood Beauty and Talent Contest. As talent scout of XL Pictures Hollywood, I have conducted a number of beauty contests. But this has been the most capably managed of them all. All due to the invaluable assistance of the young man I'm about to introduce to you. Ladies and gentlemen, I present Mr. Joseph Jenkins. Hey, that's for you, Joe. Gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, winner of the contest, that's the one who wins, will receive $2,000 in prize money. Then she will be given a role uh, by the XL Picture Company. Now, I don't want to bore you any longer, so I'd like to introduce Judge Pike, who will uh, take the show part over from now on. Judge Pike. Thank you. The first contestant is Miss Gopher City, who will now give us a recitation. Slowly England's sun was setting, o'er the hilltops far away, filling all the land with beauty at the close of one sad day. And the last rays tipped her forehead of a man and maiden fair, he with footsteps slow and weary, she with sunny floating hair, probably will not come till sunset, and her face was strangely white. As she breathed a husky whisper, curfew must not ring tonight. <laughs> Do you know what to do? Why, we know it backwards. <laughs> Say, do we have to do this backwards? Ah! Oh, it's you! 
Hello, it's good you came. We'll dance together. We're not dancers. We are musicians. Ah, and where do you have the instruments? Well, right here. Next contestant. Yes, Mr. Jenkins. Next contestant, Dot from Australia. Gumley, now you stay right here. All right? Yes. Last call for Dot from Australia. Have an ice cream, mm. Gumley. I'll be back mm -hmm. soon. Final call for Dot from Australia. Will you hurry up? Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present Dot from Australia. This young lady will dance to one of her own songs, I Love to Walk Around New York. I think that's such an adorable little girl. And roll it. Stop making that noise. If you can't play a tune, put it down. Oh, be quiet. Oh! 
Oh, oh, a wild beast! Oh, it's an animal! Take it away! No, 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 it's, uh, it's Miss, um, it's, uh... A wild creature! Animal! The tropical animal! You've got to take him away! Help! Help! Uh, it's in there! Help! Come on! Get this creature out of here! All right, everybody, Help! still! Help! Take it away! Don't go near it! It's sick! It's got rabies! Get me the zoo! Quick! It, it's Ooh. going to attack me! Hello, zoo! It's XL Studios. Yeah, 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 we got a wild animal here. Look, run, little fella. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Run away! Oh, there he is! Oh, there he is! Quick, get him! Get him! Quick, get him! Ow! The zoo is closed. I I've got to see Gumley. Gumley? A koala. They just took it. You can see them all tomorrow, but we don't have koalas. But you must... Sorry, miss. Tomorrow. Bye. Oh, but he's sick. He he's sick. <laughs> yeah, he's sick. Very, very sick. What kind of sick, Doc? Well, no doubt about it. It's that <laughs> koala disease. Right through Australia, where it causes blindness and death. And it spreads like wildfire. What you giving him, Doc? Uh, it'll quieten him down. Ain't nothing else you can do, Doc? You got to put him to sleep? Probably. We've got thousands of animals here. They can't catch the disease. Uh, Dot! Dot! Well, he needs an expensive operation. But we just don't have that sort of money available here at the zoo. However, we'll check him tomorrow. Dot! Oh, Dot! 
And meanwhile, you put him in a separate cage. Why am I here? Why am I here? Does anybody care about what's happening to me? Nobody near. Nobody near. It wouldn't matter where I was if only I could see. Where is she now? Where is she now? Oh, how I wish that little dot were here with me today. Maybe somehow, maybe somehow, she'll come along and take me away. I miss the lovely perfume of the eucalyptus trees and the kookaburra's happy morning song. The sunshine on my face and the cooling mountain breeze and the kangaroos all drinking at the shady billabong. I want to go home. I want to go home Somebody please come and take me away I want to go home I don't know why I don't know why All my friends have gone away and left me on my own. I mustn't cry, I mustn't cry, even though it's cold and dark and I am all alone. What shall I do? What shall I do? I think I'm getting frightened and my eyes are really sore. Wish it were true, wish it were true that Doc would come and open the door. <laughs> I just did. No, I mean, I'm looking for a koala. You're in the wrong country. They live in Australia. No, no, he's a baby. And I'm... A baby koala? We'd never even recognize him. Too small and too far down, don't you know? <laughs> now, birds, that's a different matter. We're very good at birds. <laughs> Helicopters, too. And uh, what is the name of your baby? Gumly! I, I can't hear you! Gumly! Did you say Mumly? Gumly! Gumly! Dot? Dot! Dot! What? Dot? What? Dot? Dot! Dot! Ha <laughs> 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 
Dot, I'm here! Dot! Dot! Arr, Dot! Dot! Dot, Dot, Dot! Dot, 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 I'm here! Dot, Dot, I'm over here! Dot! <laughs> Dot! Dot! <laughs> Dot! 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 Me hearty! Don't get all excited. I, I, he, he, he's right here. Oh please! What will I do? He's sick, and they've locked him up. They'll do something awful to him. I know it. Ah, uh, you're you're getting all excited again. So you you want him out of there, do you? Yes, yes, now. Oh, hurry, please. Uh, uh, all right, all right. All right. Uh, let's see. I, 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 I. Gumley! <laughs> Gumley, Gumley. <laughs> it was horrible. They're coming back for me. <laughs> Shh, don't worry. We'll hide somewhere. It's all right. Ah, uh, uh, somewhere to hide, huh? Well, I, I've got just a place. I, I, a tiny, hi, hi, I, a tiny. Oh, I, I, open this cage up for me, will you, tiny? Oh, all right, all right. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> hey, <laughs> how's that? Oh, I, that, 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 fine, fine. I, I hold it. Okay. Thank you. Well, any time. Have a nice day. Oh, are you sure it's safe? Ah, oh, sure, I'm sure. I, nobody ever goes in there. Why not? Dot, Dot. Well, because they're too scared. <laughs> Dot, Dot. <laughs> You're not my agent. What? We're expecting our agent. We're actors, you know. <laughs> actors? Are you famous? Famous? Indeed. I worked in Hollywood for years. I was a star. A big star. You should have seen me. <laughs> <laughs> Even as a little baby, my mother was sure I would grow up to be a big movie star. Then one day, I met Tarzan, and he told me I should definitely be in Hollywood. Well, that sounded okay, but I tell you, trying to put this makeup on was no laughing matter. <laughs> Once you got it on, you couldn't get it off. <laughs> Tarzan and I performed in many films together. Do you remember Monkey Business and Swing Along With Me? I even had my own fan club. It sounds very impressive, but um, if you're so good, what are you doing here? Well, actually, I'd rather not say, old girl. Go on, tell us. Tell us. Very well, but don't tell another soul. Uh, you see, I have these little, um, <laughs> accidents. And in one film, I was co-starring with Tarzan. And, um, well, in the most important <laughs> scene, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, gee, it was just one of those days. And, well, we kept doing this scene over and over. And, well, I just sort of got a... <laughs> Been excited and carried away. Oops! Look! Cat! Disgusting! Kong, you are fired! It always happens.
happens to me when I get excited? Well, don't get excited now. <laughs> I worked with Tarzan a lot, and I never stepped out of line once. They was great times. Mind you, I was always at the dentist's. Now you've got to realize, when you're king of the jungle, it's a big responsibility. <laughs> Everyone looks up to you, and you've got to deliver. My big break came in a film called, Guess Who's for Dinner? Ah! Oh, and I was mean. Help! So mean, they had to send in Tarzan. Help! 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 We had some good fights before, but this was the tops. Even I got carried away. And you know, I was always the highest paid dead body in Hollywood. <laughs> it's a good job Tarzan used a rubber knife. Oh, it must be fun to be a star. Listen, for 20 years, I was the star of just about every picture made in Hollywood. That's me, kid. Oh, I remember that. But why are you here? Well, times change. It's not just Kong and I. There's Rin Tin Tin. He's getting old as well. Uh, all we have is our memories. And the hope that we might be discovered again. Where are the idols of the silver screen? Those superstars of Hollywood? What happened to those movie greats that we adore? They don't seem to be around much anymore. One time they were a household word, but now they're never seen. Those idols of the silver screen. Those idols of the silver screen. I never used to rise before 11. I had a chocolate driven limousine. They said my profile came direct from heaven. And now they're trying to tell him he's an old has-been. <sighs> Where is the royalty of Hollywood? Those kings and queens of make-believe. Oh, how we love those magic names of yesterday. When they finished making them, they threw the mold away In lights, on picture shows, in every neighborhood The royalty of Hollywood Remember all those people at the picture house? The popcorn and the candy and the sing-along Everybody laughed at Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse Remember how they shouted when they saw King Kong? Where are the idols of the silver screen? Those superstars of Hollywood? What happened to those movie greats that we adore? They don't seem to be around much anymore. One time they were a household word, but now they're never seen. Those idols of the silver screen. Those idols of the silver screen. And it don't make any difference just how old you are. You'll always be a movie star. You'll always be a movie star. Oh! Oh no! Oh, Gumley! Why, he 
he's old. Is he dying? Gumley, Gumley, oh, oh, don't, oh. We're all getting old. Gumley is not old. He's sick. And if I don't get money for the operation, he, he will. <laughs> oh, Gumley. I entered this contest to win money for Gumley's operation. It was a screen test, and everything went wrong. Oh, it was terrible. I was dancing and singing. I love to walk all around you. All right, all right, that's it, that's enough. Why, she's fantastic, marvellous, great, stupendous. Say, who was she? Well, that's Dot from Austria. Uh, sorry, Australia. What style? Yes, I love to walk around New York. Da, 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 da. What a dancer. Yes, cute as a button. Talented as old get out. The neon sky, the traffic lullaby. Oh, great. The winner, Dot from Australia. Uh, where is she? Where is he? Where is he? The koala's disappeared. Oh, but where is she? Well, she's gone. He's gone. He broke down the door and disappeared. Why, he couldn't have done that. It's impossible. It sure is. Why, that's terrible. We have to find him. Come on, quick. Why, it's a matter of life and death. Uh, what do you mean, you don't know where she is? Well, like I said, she, she just took off. Didn't even finish her number. I want her now. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what? They said she was looking for some kind of animal. Animal? Well, where do you look for animals? Oh, it's the zoo. Yes, that's right. I was going to say that. The zoo. <laughs> What's that? Oh, probably some animal has escaped. Good luck to him. <laughs> you take this side and I'll look there. Here they come. Uh, you'd better go there, quick. All right. <laughs> Dot. Mm? Dot. 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 Uh, uh, Dot. 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 Gumley. Stupid monkey. He's vanished. I can't find him. I was looking everywhere, but no sign. Yeah, we must find him. He's sick. Do you understand? Well, he must be somewhere here. Uh, where is she? Well, it's not she. It's he. It's a girl. No, it's a boy. Girl. Boy. Girl. Boy. A uh, koala boy. Girl. A koala girl. Uh, what? What? Koala? What koala? I'm looking for a girl. I need this girl. I need this koala. I need a girl. What girl? From Australia, do you hear? Tiny, here. Oh, uh, 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 run away, Dot. <laughs> koala from Australia. No, girl from Australia, Dot from Australia. Dot? This stupid monkey was... Why, she must be hiding in the monkey's cage. Well, let's go. Here they come. <laughs> but, uh, she's not here. I... Well, that's pretty obvious. Well, then where is she? Uh, there! There! <laughs> Hey! 
Well, she's vanished. No, he vanished. Look, I don't care about the koala. I only want the girl. Yes, yeah, so where do you want this girl? Because she's won the Hollywood contest. I won? I won? Oh, Gumley! Gumley! It's the money for your operation. Oh! Ah! Wait, what, what, the dot? It's her! It's him! Dot! Koala! Congratulations, Dot! You're gonna be famous! Your contract, Dot! But, but, Gumley! No, he'll be fine, Mish. We'll take care of him. Well, he'll go to hospital for the operation. Sign it. Sign it, Dot. Good luck, Dot. Good luck, Gumley. Oh, thanks, Leo. And Kong. I won't forget you. You'll be stars again, too. You'll see. Maybe Kong and I could do a double act. I, I wait. Come on, we've got a screen test to do, and costume, and makeup, and rehearsals, and songs. There she is. Come on, guys. Hello, Dot. I'm from the publicity department. I won't take long. We just need to get a few photographs. Almost there. Good spoil. Great. Oh, very nice. Oh, terrific. Oh, that's all good. Mr. Goldsmith, Dot from Australia is here. Yes, sir. The producer will see you right away. Come on, Dot. How do you do, Mr. Goldsmith? No, 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 no. That's not Goldsmith. That's his secretary. You, Mr. Goldsmith, is expecting you. G good morning, Mr. Goldsmith. I'm happy to be here. So, you're uh, happy to be here, eh? Hollywood's the ambition of all actors. I'm a dancer. Ah, well, Hollywood's the ambition of all dancers, but Isaac Goldsmith will make an actress out of you. Come to my office at once. In Hollywood, uh, Miss, uh, uh, what's... Miss Dot! Oh. In Hollywood, Miss Dot, we create not only films, but uh, actresses from dancers and presidents from actors. Uh, the head. Do you uh, always call it that way? Why... Yes, yes, I do, but I'll change it if it's important. Important? <laughs> Here they are. That's right. Grief, trouble, and worry. Gentlemen. Yes, Mr. Goldsmith. Uh, yes, Mr. Goldsmith. Yes, Mr. Goldsmith. This is Dot, who is going to be our new star. Fix her at once. The, uh, the hair. Uh, good gracious, it belongs on an entirely different face, Mr. Goldsmith. Oh! Well, fix it. Mr. Taylor, costumes. The clothes. A star doesn't wear clothes like that. Well, fix it. Uh, Mr. Voce, our dialogue director. Speak it to me. <clears throat> I uh, don't have anything to say. Would you remind that to repeat this once more? I said I don't have anything to say. Once more, please. I just said I don't have anything to say. Thank you. Impossible prediction. It will take years and years and the... Well, fix it. <sighs> See what I mean. In the breathing, you must remember the diaphragm. I know how to breathe. Do as I say. Romeo, Romeo, come and sing a song for me. La, 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 la. Um, Romeo, Romeo, come and sing a song for me. La, 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 la. Please, don't do as I say, say as I do. Romeo, Romeo, come and sing a song for me. Higher. Romeo, Romeo, come and sing a song for me. Ah! Terrible, terrible, terrible! Oh, Do it again. Oh. Yes, Mr. Goldsmith. Romeo, Romeo, come and sing a song for me. <laughs> so 
Okay, to the operating theater, quickly! No good, and do again. No, 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 no. No good, no good. It's no good. I hope he's strong enough. He'll have another operation in two days. Oh. Oh. I'm not strong enough. I can't. You have to once again. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Imagine a world without music. Imagine a world without song. Oh, a well, world without music oh. is too sick oh, to struggle oh. along for long. Lovely. Five minutes to screen test, Dot. May I know how Gumley is? Hello? Oh, Gumley. Gumley the koala. One minute, Dot. Yes? I'm still in surgery. Uh, yes? We'll for another hour. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll give it one more shot. <sighs> Scalpel. Clamps. Shoot you. Ready when you are, Mr. Demure. Well, this is a big test, Dot. It won't be easy. I know, sir. The scene that we are doing, for instance, now is Cleopatra's preparation to visit the Roman Senate. Do you think you can handle it? I think so. Good. All ready to go, Mr. Demille? Well, we better have a sound rehearsal first, please. Take your position, Dot. And remember, lots of confidence. Right. Good luck. Now ready? Give me quiet, please. All of them, everybody. All right, Lenny, this is sound. Ready, action. Camera. Under the expert guidance of the legendary Cecil B. DeMille and other great directors, Dot from Australia became an instant hit wherever she performed. She was the talking point of the nation. The studios were a beehive of activity as Hollywood groomed her into their latest star attraction. Screenwriters worked overtime to produce new scripts for her. Casting directors sought desperately to find the right co-stars. And for Dot, her dream to be famous and help Paul Gumley was at last coming true as she danced and sang with the greatest names in showbiz. I love to walk around New York. Oh! A wandering through uh -oh. Fifth Avenue or Central Park before it's dark. I love to walk around New York. I want that dot from Australia picture ready for preview, and I want it immediately. Oh, but Mr. Ring, we do it all we can. We're working 24 hours a day. Well, work 25 hours a day if necessary. Now, when do I get the picture? Uh, difficult to say, in about three weeks. Well, make it two. 
Cutting room. When will the dot picture be ready for preview? It'll take us at least two weeks, Mr. Regan. I'll make it one. One? That's what I said. Hey, Harry. Where's that close-up of Dot in the dance sequence? Look at that trim count over there. Yes, ma'am. Two tickets, please. Audiences clamored to theaters as Hollywood brought Dot together with that other little star of the big screen, Shirley Temple. For Dot, this really was the peak of her incredible rise to success. Different makeup, oh, darling, what a bar. Friday, 
Jonas, a new director, wants to change the set. Then suddenly you're Joan of Arc or Marie Antoinette. Saturday you could become a harem girl, and then on Sunday, if you're lucky, you can be yourself again. I love the limelight. I love the limelight. Love it when the curtain rises. I love the big night. I love the big night. Opening night is all surprises. Monday, you're a Highland lassie. Tuesday, you're a clown. Wednesday, you're Cleopatra, queen of Pyro Town. Thursday morning, you're a duchess. Later, you're a girl next door. Different costume, different makeup. Oh, darling, what a bore. Friday, there's a new director, wants to change the set. Then suddenly, you're Joan of Arc or Marie Antoinette. Saturday, you could become a harem girl and then on Sunday, if you're lucky, you can be yourself again. I love the limelight. I love the limelight. Love it when the curtain rises. I love the big night. I love the big night. Opening night is all surprises. Monday, you're a Highland lassie. Tuesday, you're a clown. Wednesday, you are Cleopatra, queen of Pyro Town. Thursday morning, you're a duchess. Later, you're a girl next door. Different costume, different makeup. Oh, darling, what a bore. Friday, there's a new director, wants to change the set. Then suddenly, you're Joan of Arc or Marie Antoinette. Saturday, you could become a harem girl. And then, on Sunday, if you're lucky, you can be yourself again. I love the limelight, I love the limelight, love it when the curtain rises. I love the big night, I love the big night, opening night is all surprises. It doesn't matter who you are, you can be a movie star, don't be shy, come and cry, and if you're any good.